Yeah, I, I think more than anything, it was um, a, a good uh, collective response, um, you know, to our disappointing game in, in Atlanta. Um, and, you know, the, the starters really set the tone uh, for the tenor of the game, um, really just with the activity defensively. There were a lot of deflections and steals. Uh, and then a great deal of assertiveness offensively. Uh, the things that we talked about, like really establishing the paint, rim, free throws, uh, that was happening early on. So we were able to control uh, the game. Uh, and then the second unit came came in and just continued uh, that energy and effort. And, and that's what we've been talking about is uh, playing to our identity and and getting contributions from both units, uh, both units inspiring uh you know, the other and second unit was terrific tonight as well. Max obviously had uh, 10 assists, uh, his career high probably at, at any level. <laughs> and uh, they they just, you know, really inspiring um, to be able to keep those leads and then to be able to carry that on uh, in the fourth quarter uh, as well. Yeah, you know, the guys were making the right reads and, and not trying to uh, to overcomplicate things. If somebody was open, we hit the open guy. That doesn't mean you're always going to make uh, the shot, but, um, you know, sometimes you can uh, make it a lot harder than it needs to be. Uh, this was just a very simple game plan. Um, execute a trigger and uh, create an advantage and, and make the right read and uh, – Whatever was best, you know, for the team in that pos the possession at that time. Uh, nobody was really, you know, trying to self-will anything um, during the course of the game. And you know, it's uh, from a head co coaching standpoint, it's uh, uh, it's nice to see uh, a team really compete defensively and then share in the game offensively. Yeah, I just want to see it through. You know, I'm I'm as curious as anybody, and I think we owe it to that group. Uh, you know, to give them some an opportunity to uh, gain some continuity. Um, but tonight, you know, they they set the tone for the game, and that was a, on both ends of, of the court. There was, uh, like I said, um, at the point of attack, we were very good. Um, we we had a presence to us. We were physical. Uh, we're active. Um, Tyler had a bunch of deflections in the first quarter. Kyle had deflections and steals. Uh, Bam was uh, terrific in, in all the different coverages. Um, and then offensively, uh, you know, those early attacks and the pressure on the rim and the paint and getting to the free throw line were um, all very good things to be able to try to control a game on the road. Yeah, you know, I, I think what I like about our group is the starters understand, uh, you know, how important the second unit is, but also what they've had to uh, sacrifice. You know, it, when some of the starters have been out, our, our bench guys have stepped into that starting unit and played it extremely well, you know, and it, it, they're all humans. You know, if you're playing great, um, and then starters come back, and then you're asked to sacrifice and come off the bench. That's not easy for anybody, but um, it takes both sides, you know, having that grace, uh, you know, that support, that un understanding, um, and knowing what our, our ultimate goal is, uh, that everybody has to play a role. You have to sacrifice a little bit, but we need both units playing well, you know, um, you know particularly to win uh, on the road. Yeah, I mean, defensively, that's what we set out to do. Um, it's, it's easier said than done, but we want to control the paint um, defensively and, and try to prevent teams from getting easy baskets uh, in this league. Uh, and then offensively, you know, Kyle, Jimmy, Tyler, Bam were all like, incredibly assertive, you know, right from the start of the game. Uh, and that's the kind of mentality we have to have to have it doesn't necessarily mean that it's always going to end up in one of those things um, because we made the right plays as well uh, if 
there was help defenders there. We just made the easy play to an open guy. But we have to be assertive at the point of attack. We have to put pressure on the paint the, at, at the rim. So how, how solid production for 20 How much of that, how much of this workload was based on how the game went or how we felt? Yeah, I mean, we didn't need to play him in the fourth, so I didn't, I didn't try to force it. Um, but his minutes, particularly in that first half, were, were really good. You know, he was a big contributor of, of setting the tone on, on both ends. You know, right out of the gate, you know, you want to set the tone for the game on the road. Uh, he had an early steal uh, on a post up, had a, c a couple other physical defensive possessions, uh, and he had two early attacks um, before the defensive was set. Uh, and that just kind of set the tone for everybody else uh, to do something similar. I love it. Yeah, I love it. We all love the aggressiveness, uh, and he's doing it in so many different ways. You know, I, th I thought all the different p pick and roll coverages that they did, uh, we were making the right reads, but we ultimately want to get Bam involved as much as possible. We can't get the ball to him enough. Um, and that's not just clearing out a side of the floor and trying to post him up. It, it takes a collaboration. Uh, there has to be a a synchronicity of, of pick and roll basketball, but we don't want to go too many possessions where we haven't tried to get him the ball. Um, and, you know, he's, he's great at getting all the way to the rim, and he, he was doing that tonight, but his paint shots, you know, right in the circle, that's such a go-to shot uh, for him, and um, that's a credit to the work that he's put in, um, you know, particularly against drop coverages, to just to really uh, be so efficient, you know. Um, you know, on those little uh, 12, 14, 14 foot shots. All right, thank you.